Hi, I'm Claire and a very warm welcome to my Slim On World vlog. The motivational message behind today's vlog is keep going because you didn't come this far to only come this far. Good morning and welcome back. My name is Claire Howard. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, this is a selection of vlogs that I'm putting together of my progress and my journey on the Slim On World plan. It is Monday morning. It's currently 7.30. I am just having a cup of tea. I'm about to do my dinner prep. I did do a roast turkey dinner yesterday, so I have some leftover turkey. I've got my slow cooker out, and I'm gonna make a turkey stew for this evening's dinner. So I'm gonna get that in before I now go off to work. I am waiting on my Asda shop, which should be here any minute. And then I'm also gonna make my breakfast in a minute. This morning, I am gonna have some poached eggs and ham and beans. I've got these little microwave poached egg makers because if obviously also if you've watched my blogs, if you haven't, I'm in the middle of a home renovation. We're living in temporary accommodation and we don't have an oven or hob in our kitchen. So anything I cook is done in the microwave, air fryer or slow cooker at the moment. I cannot wait to have an oven back. It's not so much the oven, it's the hob. Um, yeah, so that is this morning. I'm now gonna get on. I'm gonna get my breakfast prepped. I'm gonna get my lunch prepped to take to work. Thanks mate. And I'm gonna get my turkey stew and slow cooker. This last week, I have been very unmotivated. Um, the last couple of videos I've done have been about comfort food because it's just this weather. Honestly, this weather puts me into hibernation mode. I just want to snuggle up in the warm on the sofa with lots of comfort in yummy, stodgy food. Obviously, we can have lots of yummy, stodgy, gorgeous food, but it's getting the organisation in to make sure that's actually the correct food, not bags of crisps, cheese on toast. What else do I fancy this time of year? Chocolate. Um, so I have done a bit of a food plan. I've not got one of those nice, neat food log books. But... Now, my what I'm hoping to include in this vlog, and my weeks do not always go to plan. I'm not the best planner. I usually forget that I've got something on forget to order something on my Asda shop or it just doesn't always work out, does it? You can't be bothered to do what you're gonna do. So today, my plan is my ham, egg and beans for breakfast, which is all sin free food. Then I'm gonna do some soup, a tuna soup or a stag chili or something to take to work um, in my show flask. Then I'm gonna have my turkey stew in the slow cooker for dinner. Now I haven't had a hex B today and I think I might save that and just do a couple of slices of toast to go with my stew because I have ordered Mark and the kids some baguettes. I think that'd be quite nice. Tuesday for breakfast. I'm trying to do five different breakfasts as well to include some different variations and show you what you can have when it's quick and on the go because obviously all of these breakfasts are what I'm gonna be having before I go to work and do the school run, etc. Tuesday morning, oh, I've got my breakfast the wrong way around. I'm gonna do a cheese and tomato omelette for breakfast. Then again, chili or soup in my um, show class for work. And then I am actually making a vegetable, country vegetable soup. I found the recipe on the Slim and Wild app and cheese toasty for dinner. We are loving soup and a toasty. So this is a new soup. I haven't tried making this one before. Also, again, this is tweaked because the soup is made on an oven hob and I'm gonna be doing it in my slow cooker. Wednesday, I am gonna have the high brown from Asda. I really enjoy that with some fresh fruit and skimmed milk from my Hex A allowance. Again, it's gonna be soup, probably leftover vegetable soup that I've made the night before that I'm gonna take into work. And then I'm gonna have salmon and I've got some frozen couscous in the freezer. Are we gonna have that? And I might do some grilled tomatoes, courgettes, peppers, that sort of thing. I say grilled, slow cooked, don't have a grill. Then Thursday, I'm going to have, I'm not from Thursday, but I am going to do porridge. I'm going to do porridge with like apple, honey and cinnamon. I love that. I haven't had that so far this year for breakfast, lunch, I don't know, because I might be out and about, who knows. And then for dinner, I am going to stop off at B&M or Home Bargains. I'm going to pick myself up some Mayflower curry sauce because we haven't had a Mayflower curry for ages and I love a Mayflower curry. So we're going to have chicken curry for our dinner. Friday, I haven't written what I'm going to have for breakfast. I don't know yet, it's going to be a surprise. Again, I'm going to work, so it will be soup mushy peas or whatever, something like that. I really need to go and do an Iceland stock up with some meals. It's a little bit more interesting than soup every day, but. And then I'm gonna do a chili or a spag bowl for dinner that evening. I was planning and I have ordered some chicken breast to make some Spanish chicken this week in my slow cooker. So I might actually batch cook some of that up and take that as my lunch because that 
was something I planned. I probably planned it after I'd done my plan, but I did add some chicken breast because I have got a chicken tonight. And this chicken sauce, which has been sitting in my cupboard this week. Um, well, it's been in there for a few weeks, but it keeps looking at me. I keep thinking I need to do that because I really enjoyed that before. So I just put that in the slow cooker with my chicken breast and then shred them. And then that can either go with salad or a jacket. And again, you can take it to work. And it is just handy to have batch cooked. I think batch cooking is the key to this time of year because it is just having those warming hearty foods that are just there and you can heat up because i don't know about you but i've got mega munchies and it helps just to pick something up chuck it in the microwave and fill myself up on some free or very low sim food before i reach for the stuff that i shouldn't which is just always a lot more convenient isn't it that those handy things that you can reach for like i could grab now crisps cereal bars out of the kids things yogurts and rice puddings i have got some of my own low sim ones but the kids ones are in there as well and it's just those are the easy things to grab aren't they unfortunately which is why we need to prepare and have our handy low sin snacks and free foods around us I totally forgot that my ham is with the Asda driver. I don't want to wait, so I'm gonna make my breakfast now. I'm gonna make a cheese and a tomato omelette instead. So you know my shopping would turn up the second I went to cook my breakfast. So I'll just run through a few of the things that I've got in my shop. Um, standard stuffed taco boats, I always order these. They're two for three pounds currently, I believe. Um, and I always know we'll use them three and a half sins for one of these and they make a really good meal for tacos and stuff. And it's a good family one. The kids love those too. Got some taglatelli because I'm gonna do meatballs for the boys one evening which I've got these meatballs and that is just for them. I'm gonna have salmon the night they have those. That's when I'm having salmon and couscous. I have got some tomatoes, so I've been enjoying those in my omelets. I also like them in lots of other things. I've got some ham to do my ham and eggs, as I said, and Joshy's also been liking a ham omelet this week. Gammon steaks, Mark and I are gonna have, I think that was Friday or Saturday night, I put them down for. I have my 5% less fat, um, 5% fat, less than 5% fat minced beef to make my spag bowl. Chicken thigh fillets are here for my Mayflower curry night. And then I've got my chicken breast under here for that Spanish chicken. I always grab some food traders. These little bags are, ooh, it's either half one or one and a half sins per bag. I think it's half, I'll put it on the screen anyway. I love those, it's a handy snack. A little bit more ham. I have got some berries here take these to work with me or use them to top my porridge really nice and handy I've got skimmed milk I'm gonna to have to pick up semi-skimmed milk I'll pick up some skimmed because they've stopped doing the four pint skimmed online it's so annoying and I know that I can just walk in the shop and pick some up here are my salmon fillets from the salmon night just got some potatoes I've got bacon potatoes I use those for everything um, ordered some boys some ketchup that's been out of stock for weeks those silly things just some shampoo and some Muscle soak for poor old Marcus working at the house at the moment. Um, Washing tablets. I always go with Surf. It's a pretty cheap one, isn't it? But it still smells nice. It's a more refrigerated. I think we've got two of those. Pepsi Max is a staple. We love a glass of Pepsi, so I've got that. Reduced fat, 30% reduced fat. So 40 grams is that for my Hexa. I always go reduced fat. Got some celery there to go in my veg soup. I ordered hot dogs for Mark and the kids. I didn't realise they were this massive. So they've got huge hot dogs on Friday night whilst I'm at work. Our yoghurt selection. I love these Turkish Delight Muller lights. They are really nice. Mark loves the banana custard and the kids love these ones. And then over here, I've got my stag chilies. I believe these are 190 a can. Um, they are great for lunch. Love these in my flask. Passata, obviously we're doing spag bowl this week, but it is just a standard staple to have in the cupboard. 
Like I said, I've got the boys and marks and baguettes to go with their soup and stew this evening. Uh, bread is for them for breakfast. Stocked up on some beans and I have some haricot beans which are going to go in my vegetable soup. Then just the regular sugar-free squashes. I always have lemon, that is my go-to. Obviously free on Slim and World. Oh, now let's quickly get this away and eat my omelette before it overcooks. My morning quickly went from quite organised and feeling smug and organised to absolute chaos. The ASD man turned up just as my breakfast was cooking. I was chucking that away and then suddenly I realised I was running a little bit late. And then I realised I hadn't ordered Harrison any hot dinners for this week. So I had to quickly make a packed lunch and it just went crazy. Anyway, on the way to work, I was thinking about how I'm going to motivate myself this week because I am just, I haven't been great. I've been sneaking in the snacks and I'm just behind on everything really and a little bit lacklustre and unmotivated. I've been watching quite a few vlogs this week and it seems that actually a lot of people are feeling that way at the moment. I think it is just that overwhelming time, isn't it? Coming up for Christmas, the change in the weather, the dark nights. So um, what I think I'm going to do this week, which I think I think is really going to help motivate me and I'm hoping it's going to give you some motivation too if you've been feeling that way is I'm going to do five days of Slim and World Foods and um, what I eat in a day five days of that so every day this week up till the weekend and I'm going to upload the video of each day daily rather than putting it all into one big long vlog where the food can get lost and you've got to go backwards and forwards to find things that you're looking for I'm just going to do each day so I'm going to do five days five consecutive days of what I eat on Slim and Wells and upload those daily. I hope that's gonna help motivate you as much as it does me. And then when I do my vlog on Thursday, I feel that that is the day as I'm off that I may go a little bit into Slim and World, um, the healthy extras, healthy aids, and just sit and have a little chat about what is, you know, what just outlining the Slim and World plan and going back, back to basics, like I mentioned I would do the other day. So that is my plan for this week. So hopefully this video will go on tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and then I'll do consecutive days from then on of what I eat in Slim and World on a day. It's just gonna be a motivation week, okay? So it's gonna be like, let's get motivated together. It is very, very easy, and I have been at that feeling now. Christmas is coming, let's just let it go. Let's just, let's just write this month off because there's Christmas on the 25th of next month. I mean, it's crazy, isn't it? That you would, I would, ha I would kind of, forego all of the weight that I've lost over the last six months or a year just to start eating rubbish and being lazy over the next couple of months because there is a few special days coming up. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay motivated and I hope you guys are going to stay motivated with me. I also thought what might be nice to do on one of these days, um, let me know if this is something you'd be interested in. I noticed that I can set a video as a premiere and then when that video goes live, we could have like a live text chat session I think from what I understand of this so if you wanted maybe on the Thursday evening when I upload my Slim and Well video I could do that as a premiere and I would then be live on when that video becomes available live on the text and chat so if you have any questions we could then just have a general Slim and Well chat about the Slim and Well plan so let me know if you think that that would be an interesting idea and we'll give that a go. Just in from work and my turkey stew is looking awesome. Let me show you. That is bubbling away in there. I have just put some chicken gravy in to thicken that up a bit. And I am now just gonna cook a load of veggies to pop in mine. And I'm gonna pop the baguettes in for the boys. So I've added a load of veg to my dish and then I'm gonna top it up with my turkey stew.
Okay, so that is it for today's vlog. So what have I eaten today? I had my cheese and tomato omelette for breakfast, which was free food and my Hex A cheese allowance, one of my Hex A's for lunch. I had my stag chili, which is one and a half sins for the full can. I didn't eat anything else throughout the day, just had my lemon squash. And then I've come home this evening and I've had my turkey stew, which was free except for the gravy, which I haven't worked out. I'll just pop the sins on the screen. I also had two slices of my Aldi Essential Wholemeal Loaf with that, which is my Hex B. So ending the day on very low sins, I'm just gonna have a couple of cups of tea, which is using my other Hex A allowance for milk. And my final note on this vlog with the motivational quote, which is, if you didn't keep going, hmm, how, what is my quote? Keep going because you didn't come this far to just come this far. So one of the things in my reasoning behind being so unmotivated, and then I think, no, I am gonna stay on track. So this jumper I'm wearing, just a normal average polo neck jumper. I bought this last year. And I can remember Mark and I were going out one day and I thought, I'm just gonna wear this with jeans. And I put this jumper on and I had to take it straight off because I had such a muffin top on my jeans and all I had down this side was just rolls and rolls and it was so fitted that it looked ridiculous. But anyway, I got this jumper out the other day when I got my winter jumpers out and apart from the fact I've just washed up and I've got water on myself, I can now wear this jumper quite comfortably with a pair of jeans and it feels nice. Whereas this time last year, it was so tight to my body and my muffin top over my jeans, just, it just wasn't a good look. I couldn't wear the fitted top like this with my jeans. And it's things like that that you need to think of. They're your little wins and your successes. And that is why I am not gonna let the given up, can't be bothered side of me eat what she wants for the rest of this month and next month, just because Christmas is coming up because it will just make me unhappy. And then come January, when I have to get back on it, I'll have an extra stone to lose again. So I'm not doing it. I'm gonna do my best to keep on track. And as I have said previously, I am gonna also do my best to upload a video every day this week. So I'm gonna do five days worth of what I eat on Slim and Wild. I'm hoping that having you guys on my back is gonna motivate me. And I also hope if you're feeling in a bit of a slump and a bit glum and a bit down and a bit winter bluesy and can't be bothered that it's going to motivate you tell me what's motivating you to keep going and um pass on your motivational tips to me too that'd be great and i'll see you tomorrow don't forget don't forget if you are enjoying these vlogs i would love to have you here along the way to support me and for me to help support you so do press that subscribe button and stay with us so you don't miss out on the next video coming soon